part of living on the Gulf Coast, the price of living on the Gulf Coast, where we are vulnerable to hurricanes, sometimes big hurricanes, is to be prepared. Preparation is the key to success at any endeavor, especially when it comes to hurricanes, because when these storms are coming, especially if it's a big one, if you're not prepared, and most of us will not be prepared, most area residents won't be prepared, and it will be a rush to go out and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get supplies, and what supplies do I need? And, and now I'm, I live on the coast, they're calling for an evacuation. What is my evacuation route? Where am I gonna go? If you haven't made a plan, the stress and anxiety that can build in you and the other thousands, tens of thousands of people who are all scrambling to be ready when a big one's coming, can cause things to be quite dangerous out in grocery stores and gas stations and on the road. So what I want you to do is be prepared so that you don't have to get out in the, the fray of storm preparation. Sometimes we get hit by small hurricanes. For example, Beryl, last year, this was a Cat 1, max winds at 85. And what did it do? What did a minimal Cat 1 hurricane do? Knocked out power to 3 million people, uh, knocked down thousands of trees, um, we had no power for anywhere from a week to two weeks in the summer heat. We had uh, some of the biggest problems were at some of our um, nursing homes and uh, old folks homes that didn't have power. You know, so you've got elderly that just cannot take the stress of the heat. Um, and a lot of facilities and homeowners just weren't prepared. So we have an answer to this. This is the KHOU 11 Hurricane Preparedness Guide 2025. And what you've got here are lists as to exactly what to put in your hurricane preparedness kit. Water, food, batteries, a radio, um, what things to do in advance of a storm. Just reminders to get all your cell phones and all your digital devices charged. Uh, put gas in your car. You know, if you have a generator, generator safety. Um, all the basics that when suddenly a storm is coming can all just kind of go out the window. And so if you will take just a moment to go to khiu.com slash hurricane, where this is available, a digital version, and walk through it with your family, you will be way ahead of most of us who don't take the time to prepare. Now, as I turn to the very first page in here, the first thing I see is what is storm surge and what are the threats of storm surge? So sometimes, you know, we don't get Cat 1 hurricanes like Beryl, which really didn't have much of a surge. Sometimes we'll get an Ike, like in 2008. This one put a surge, a wall of water across the Bolivar Peninsula, anywhere between 10 and 18 feet high. And it just wiped out neighborhoods across the Bolivar Peninsula. Storm surge from a big hurricane like Ike is just simply not survivable if you're on the coast. You're going to have to evacuate to survive it. So again, when I open the guide, going to page three, you know, this is an evacuation guide. It's listed by zip code. It shows all the contrafold lanes so you can begin to make a plan. What road would I take to get out? Where would I go? This is Bolivar after Ike. Just neighborhoods wiped completely off. Again, that's just not survivable. So if you're on the coast or in an area that floods easily from storm surge, the west side of Galveston Bay, had a storm surge of greater than 12 feet. You've got to have a plan to be ready to evacuate because you cannot survive the water. Not only that, the, the debris in the water will take down structures. Again, this is more from Ike, which just devastated the Bolivar Peninsula. Now, folks in Galveston, on the west side of Galveston Island, you know, you had the weak side of Ike. You didn't have that storm surge that the Bolivar did. So west side of Galveston Island, yeah, you took the weak side of Ike, but you didn't take a surge like that. So I just want to make sure you understand if someone tells you you survived Ike and Galveston, you didn't take the worst of it and you need to be prepared for something that could be much, much worse. So again, inside the hurricane guide, not only is there information on storm surge, but here's, here's a great, another, another thing in here. Here's the list. It's your to go bag. When you have to evacuate, what can you take to a shelter? Um, don't forget pet supplies. If you have pets, you can take them to most shelters. They will be pet friendly, but you need to make sure they're kenneled. Uh, you have food and supplies for them. Make sure you have extra medicines. See how much there is that goes into this. And if you can think about it 
before there's any storm out there and have your supplies just sitting there ready to go just in case we do get a big one, it will relieve the stress off of you and your family so you can stay safe. So again, Hurricane Preparedness Guide at khou.com slash hurricane right now. Also, you can come on and you can get a physical copy of this, which actually, and I still do this every year, in the middle is an old school hurricane tracking chart. Uh, this, is, uh, this is my childhood. Every summer I would put one or two of these up on the refrigerator and just take the latest uh, advisories as they came from the Hurricane Center and plot the, the, the lat lawn lat lawn lines as the storm approached. It's a great way to educate kids, by the way, about the planet and latitude and longitude and how to plot there. Uh, also for me, it's really nostalgic and fun. So stay safe with us, stay prepared with us. And one more thing, if you haven't downloaded it on your smart TV, get KHOU 11 plus, get the app because when we need to go live or when there's a storm approaching, and, and actually every single day, we're doing multiple expanded weathers so that you'll know exactly what's going on out there, if anything, and what actions you need to be taking to execute your plan. That's KHLU 11 Plus on your TV and the app, uh, the KHLU 11 app. And again, if we go live, you can then catch us right there on the app on your phone when things begin to get serious. All right, stay safe and stay informed as we go through this upcoming hurricane season.